good evening everybody and welcome to the video my name is samil and as you know i love learning and i love teaching right recently um i was reading a blog article essentially aws announced a global endpoints for aws event bridge uh, last video i essentially covered the theory aspect of it this video i'll be showing you a practical lab of it it is super super exciting trust me when i actually saw when a failover occurred the events were going to a different region i was so excited to watch that in action let me show you how things work works here okay so uh basically uh again i'll try my best to explain you in a very easy way okay so i'll take off my paint here so what what i'm doing is i have an event here right that are, uh, my producers are producing event right so i'll have two event buses a and b my primary will all go to a any time a region or any time anything fails here automatically i want to route my events to event b these are essentially very crucial for mission critical application that are handling payments right these application you cannot afford to have a downtime these application you cannot afford to miss a single event those scenarios are where you would approach a multi region architecture right so now here what i did is essentially it's actually very easy uh, for the demo purposes show so that i can show you uh i created a global endpoint you can simply click here and fill out the details before that i have two event bus in two different region here i have an event bus called my event bus this is in north virginia and then i have in oregon that is us west too i have the same event bus here as well with the same name so two event buses right now what i did is i went to uh, north virginia that is us east one I went and created a global endpoint. It's actually very easy. So you click on global endpoints, you give it a name, description, select your primary event bus, uh, secondary failover region, right? Uh, select your health check endpoints, and then click on create. That should create your global endpoints. Once that is created, I'll copy the endpoint ID which is shown here, right? I'll copy that. Now to demonstrate the power of global endpoints, what I have done is essentially I have two SQSQ, uh, as you can see. a uh, zero messages this is in north virginia and uh, this sqsq is in oregon right uh, so now um, i have a very simple uh, simple subscriber to uh, so again in my first region there's a rule called rule 1 it essentially puts the data to the sqs uh, switching back to oregon uh, i have the same essential, essentially set of rules Uh, over here and now as you can see i have it here as well right and this will be published to my second sqs what i actually want to show you is when a failover occurs automatically that event will go to the different region and that is absolutely mind blowing to uh, to watch so here i have a uh, as you can see uh, right now it's healthy so i'm expecting it to go to my region 1 which is my primary region uh, or also in virginia right so let me uh, so i have a very simple python script that i wrote right all it does it generates a fake um, data and it publishes the data okay so i will run the code now uh, give me a second so python event bridge dot py so now as you can see i'm going to publish exactly 20 items so what you would observe is since the health check endpoint is healthy i expect them to come to the region 1 and sure enough i have 20 events landing up on my region 1 Uh, again uh, oregon doesn't have any messages yet right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to purposely fail this so i'll just invert my health check over here click on save so this should turn into unhealthy and uh, let's wait for a couple of seconds uh, or a minute to uh, so that this becomes unhealthy and then I, again i'm going to publish the messages and automatically by magic it goes to the second region this is absolutely amazing to watch like uh, things that amazon is developing and uh, you know now you could make multi region architecture in a matter of seconds uh, in my previous classes or previous tutorial i made global uh, tape i essentially made a multi region active active backend using dynamo db global tables right so all that amazing stuff you could build on amazon resilient system highly available right fault tolerant right all these stuff is possible uh, right so now i'm i'm simply waiting at this point uh, to turn this to unhealthy and um, once once that happen on my route 53 i am on the health check section once uh, that happens i'll essentially publish the events again and i'll show you that these events are routed to a new region okay 
so again i'm waiting uh, it usually takes about a minute or let me make sure yeah i think i did that so let's wait for this to become unhealthy again uh, again uh, this will uh, be done at an interval so <laughs> let's wait for a second or two okay okay it's unhealthy right so i have 19 messages in my um, north virginia and zero messages in oregon right now this means a failover occurs now my event should automatically go into this region okay ready watch this python event bridge.py okay so it's still publishing uh, again irrespective i don't need to worry whether a failover has occur or occurred or not this is absolutely flawless okay so i'm back in my first region uh, north virginia again 19 messages let's go to oregon and i'm gonna refresh uh, so so far and there you go i have 19 messages look at this like this is absolutely flawless right automatically amazon is taking care about all the complex uh, stuff right you can focus on building resilient application right so applications such as uh, order items right applications such as payments right where you cannot expect any single downtime those are the uh, scenarios where you want to use uh, multi-region models uh, you know cross-region replication again if you're using uh, dynamodb you can use Dynamo dynamodb global tables right thank you so much so very much for watching this is a very new feature that amazon has released very recently it's called um, global endpoints i hope you have enjoyed i hope you enjoyed watching a nice lab with that being said i'll see you guys in the upcoming next video thank you so much for watching keep smiling keep programming and see you guys next time